How would you react if you found out that a friend or family member was taking illicit drugs? Would you think it was simply a bad personal choice? Would you react in an angry outburst and assume they are being careless and intentionally making bad decisions? None of us want to see our family or friends suffer, so processing that someone you love is taking drugs can be difficult to manage emotionally, but it is also important that we practice appropriate response actions in order to ensure that people get the help they need. The Just Say No campaign was an anti-drug campaign led by Nancy Reagan in the 1980s, and it led society to believe that suffering with alcohol or drug abuse is a result of bad personal decisions, character flaws, or moral failing, placing all of the blame on the individual taking the drugs and denying them the tools that they need to get help. Just Say No implies that if a person says yes, then they do not deserve help because it was their choice to take drugs in the first place. But this fails to take into account addiction caused by illegal drugs, such as prescription medication, alcohol and cigarettes. It is important that we abandon this just-say-no mentality and approach substance abuse disorders like any other medical illness. We often can't help how we react when we find out a loved one is suffering with drug or alcohol abuse. Reacting refers to the initial emotional reaction that overcomes us when we hear that a loved one has begun using or misusing drugs or is struggling with addiction. And these emotions are often impulsive and out of our control in that moment. What is most important is how we respond. This refers to the actions we take to help people suffering with substance abuse disorders get the help they need. Before choosing how to respond, it is important to consider the situation of your loved one and whether they are still using the drug in the occasional recreational setting or if they have become dependent on the drug. For example, if a loved one has just begun taking drugs and they are not yet dependent, prevention mechanisms like supporting them to reduce stress in their lives and increase dopamine naturally and informing them about the long-term effects and harms associated with drugs and alcohol are necessary to help encourage them to stop taking drugs before it leads to addiction. If a loved one is suffering with addiction, harm reduction strategies may be necessary to help reduce the negative consequences associated with taking drugs. Abandoning the just say no mentality and responding to substance use disorders correctly is extremely important to help prevent the many drug related deaths that occur every year and to help end the stigma surrounding drug and alcohol abuse. Thanks for watching our video on appropriate response actions. If you would like to find out more about the Date Project, have a look at our Facebook page.